In today's video, I will be talking about the pencil style cane tip. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Mike Mulligan here. Thank you so much for joining me today. And today I'm gonna to be talking about the pencil style cane tip. I'll be giving a demonstration as well as talking about some of the pros and cons of this style cane tip. In my left hand here, I have a white cane with a pencil style tip. Uh, this pencil style tip is white and it slips onto this cane, but they also make ones that hook onto the elastic for some of the other types of canes. Uh, it's long, kind of slender, and I think of it more like a, like a pool cue tip, uh, that similar kind of shape. Uh, it's not a ball or a marshmallow like some of the other tips. Um, so this is the tip I'm going to be talking about today. First thing is I'd like to talk about some of the pros of the pencil style cane tip. One, it's really lightweight. Uh, it's just made of a thin piece of plastic, so that's nice. Two, it's cheap, so it's very easy if you need to replace it. Only a few dollars online to buy a replacement. Uh, three, living in the New England area, I find it really helpful in snowy conditions because it's a good way of probing through the snow and uh, finding what's beneath the snow, which can be a challenge with some of the other tips. And then fourth, I find that um, it's a good tip for just identification canes. Uh, when you're not looking to really be using the cane much for obstacle detection, but it's more just to identify to other people that you have some sort of vision impairment. Um, so those are some of the pros I find with the pencil style tips. And now for the cons of the pencil style cane tip. Uh, there's only really one that I can think of, but it's really a big con. And that is that this cane tip gets stuck a lot. Uh, gets stuck in cracks, gets stuck in bumps, gets stuck in grass, uh, dirt and it sends the cane back at you, uh, potentially jabbing you. And this is really a big con that most people really dislike about this style cane tip. As an instructor, I find the pencil style cane tip to be good for somebody who has um, a lot of wrist pain or it's really hard for them to hold a heavy cane just because it's such a light cane tip. It is also a good cane tip for identification purposes. Uh, so if someone's using it as an ID cane and doesn't need the cane to be really rolling on the ground or uh, isn't in contact with as many obstacles, uh, this could be a nice light alternative tip for them. However, for somebody who uses their cane for obstacle detection and constantly has their cane on the ground uh, and not just for identification, this style pencil tip is not recommended because it's constantly getting stuck and people are getting jabbed all the time and I've worked with several people who've bought a cane, had a pencil style tip, they went out and used it a few times and kept getting jabbed and they just gave up with the cane. So for somebody who's using their cane, not just for identification, I would recommend a different style cane tip. And now I'm gonna do a demonstration of using the pencil style cane tip along this residential sidewalk. Here goes nothing. So I'm tapping back and forth using two point touch. Um, I'm trying to be light so I don't get stuck, but I just got stuck there. Oh, stuck again. So even with two-point touch, I'm getting stuck quite a bit. So now I'm going to try constant contact. Sweeping the cane. Now this is not working well at all. Just getting stuck all over the place. Not convenient, not efficient. Uh, so I definitely would not recommend a uh, pencil style tip for someone who's going to be using the cane either with two point touch or constant contact. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this was helpful learning about the pencil style cane tip. Uh, I'm going to have many more videos about the different styles of cane tips out there. So if you want to see more of these videos and you're interested, please subscribe. That'd be very helpful to me. And thank you. Have a great day.